We're between the hedges at Sanford Stadium. These fans are fired up. And the weather is absolutely gorgeous for today's game between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Georgia Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Wildcats may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? Yeah, unfortunately this one won't be much of a contest. Kentucky has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. Kentucky is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk, and they're going to lose this one big. Well, thanks, guys, and it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. Georgia is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. Number 25, has it at the five. Nowhere to go on that return, Kirk. Well, Brad, two things here. You need to do a better job of blocking up front, but also you need to get the ball and just attack. Don't dance around and let the coverage swarm all over you. They'll take over at the 18-yard line. Number 20, alone in the backfield. Set. Run hot. Run hot. Run hot. Run hot. Run hot. Run hot. Lorenzo, back to pass. Fires a bullet out to the right. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18. 4 3 defense. Number 20 takes a handoff. Thornton brings him down at the 23. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Third and five coming up, all on the 23-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Lorenzen drops back, lets it fly. Number 12 drops the ball. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. It's fourth down now, five yards to go. Ball on the 23. Gary, back to return it. Gary, signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 39. They'll start this drive at the 39-yard line. The Wildcats bring in their dive package. Set. Put hot. Put. Put. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. Rifles it over the middle. Incomplete. The wide receiver was well covered out there. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Georgia lines up in a shotgun set. Green steps back to pass. Looks. Throws it out there. And it's caught. And he's taken down at the 45. Six-yard pickup.
It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. They come out with four linebackers. Smith, the ball carrier. He's hit and got away. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Big, big gain on that one. Yeah, that's a big first down, too. Just keep moving those sticks and wear down that defense. Let's take another look at that run. First and ten. Ball on the 41. They'll bring in their dime package. Green drops back to pass. He's looking. Complete. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. It's first and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Wildcats use a four-man front here. Green drops to throw. He passes it, and it's caught. And a pickup of about seven. Second and three. Ball on the 21. Georgia sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. Edwards has it. Number two with a takedown at the seven. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his route. You got to jam him at the line and throw their timing off. Georgia going with the power eye. Hunt, hunt. 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 He drops back. Let's it go. And it's complete for the touchdown. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. the PAT with about three minutes to play remaining here in the first quarter our score Georgia seven Kentucky nothing Georgia ready to kick this one off decent kick looks to be returnable Number 25, fields it at the two. They'll go to work at the 24. The Bulldogs bring in their dive package. Lorenzen, back to pass, looking, rolling out to the left side, and that one's fallen incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Second and ten, ball on their own 24. The Bulldogs. Bring in the nickel package. On the ground, up the middle. And they make the stop at the 28. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. Third and six. Ball on the 28. 
Kentucky comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Back to pass. He's in trouble. He's looking for his man, and he can't make the catch. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. It's fourth down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 28. And they're ready to punt this one away. Gary calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 38-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 38. Georgia going with the power eye. Green back to throw. He unloads it. And it falls incomplete. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38. Green with three wide receivers. off the would-be tackler and he's taken down at the 49 yard line and the tailback picks up good yardage there this is very important listen up if this defense cannot stop the running game they're in big trouble maybe not here but somewhere down the road first and ten ball right around midfield smith lines up as a single back green makes a handoff he throws it. Watson makes the catch. Johnson brings him down at the 41-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 41. The Wildcats use a four-man front here. Green steps back to pass, lets it fly, complete, and he's hammered down. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Kentucky going with a three-man front. He's at the 20. Number 27 with a takedown at the 13-yard line. Let's see the replay on that run. First and ten, they're inside the 20. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. They hand it off. Riley brings him down at the 10. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. Kentucky comes out in a 3-4. Green running the option. Now he pitches it. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And that was a heck of a touchdown. The halfback made some nifty moves right there to get in for the score. Oh, let's see that one again. Brad, great speed here by the quarterback. When you talk about running the option to perfection, this is exactly what you mean.
Hunt! Hunt! And he tacks on the extra point. So now there's just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Georgia, 14. Kentucky, nothing. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Number 12, fields it at the two. After a quarter of play, our score is Georgia, 14, Kentucky, nothing. Now the teams have switched sides and we're ready for the start of the second quarter. They'll take over at the 23-yard line. Kentucky sets up in the eye. Lorenzen drops back. Fires across the middle, and it's caught. Tackle at the 36-yard line. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Georgia lines up in a dime defense here. Lorenzo drops the throw. Throws it out there, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Second and ten, ball on the 36. The Bulldogs put four men up front. Lorenzen gives it up the middle. Jones with a takedown at the 41-yard line. They get five yards on the play. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Wildcats line up with five receivers. Drop back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Complete. Bryant brings him down at the 49-yard line. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. It's first and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Lorenzen has five receivers lined up here. He drops back. Rolls to the right. Number 47 comes away with a sack. He just broke free on that one. Oh, I feel sorry for that young kid. Those big bullies are coming at you 200 miles an hour. That's scary, my friend. It's second down and 11 to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Bulldogs line up in a nickelback. Lorenzen back to throw. Steps up under heavy pressure. He passes it, picks it off. They're really digging themselves in a hole now. That interception was not what they were looking for. Yeah, they've had a really bad first half. They're going to have to stage some sort of comeback in the second half. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23. Green with three wide receivers. Set. Put hot. Put hot. Green on the option left side. He fakes a pitch. He's out to the 30. Pitches back. He's at midfield, the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way, touchdown! And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. Yep, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. And he hits the PAT. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Georgia 21, Kentucky nothing.
Georgia to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. They'll start this drive at the 22. The Wildcats go with the eye formation. Lorenzen on the option. He lateral. Tries to juke. He's out to the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? Oh, a thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. First and ten, ball on the 43-yard line. Lorenzen is back in the gun. Lorenzen back to pass. He lets it go. Cook with a catch. The pass good for maybe seven yards. Second down and three to go. Ball right around midfield. They come out in a nickel. Lorenzo steps back to pass. Let's it go. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Back to pass. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. Kentucky comes out with an eye formation. Pitch left. And down he goes at the 15-yard line. Nothing going on that one. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Lorenzen with three wide receivers. We're hot. We're hot. Lorenzen drops back to pass. And it's caught. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Two-yard loss. Third down and 12 to go. This is the seventh play of this drive. Lorenzen lines up with five wide out. Lorenzen drops to throw. He's looking for his man. Tipped away. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Fourth and 12 coming up. Ball on the 17-yard line. Number 95 lines up for the field goal. The kick is up, and he missed it to the right. They'll go to work at the 20. The Bulldogs come out showing three wide. Green gives it up the middle. He jumps. And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. The Bulldogs call for a timeout. And they've got two remaining. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. 
Georgia lines up with three receivers. Hunt. 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 Drops back to pass. Fires deep down the right side. Complete. And that's exactly the play they need on offense. You talk about a big play, that receiver did a heck of a job coming down with that ball. This kid is a good-looking football player. What happened here, guys? Well, the quarterback does a good job of recognizing the blitz and then getting rid of the ball on time. First and ten. Ball on the 42. Georgia comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Hunt. 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 He drops back. Looks, he's under pressure. Guns it across the middle. And he's got it, touchdown! And he managed to find his tight end for his second touchdown reception of the ball game. Another look at that touchdown, Kirk. Well, right here, the quarterback does a good job of finding enough time for the receiver to get open. And he hits him perfectly in the end zone for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Georgia 28, Kentucky nothing. Georgia is ready to kick it away. Kicks it deep. Number 12 fields it in the end zone. They throw a flag. Clipping, Clipping. on the receiving, on the receiving team. team. After this distance, 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 first down. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 11. The Wildcat set up in the gun. He unloads it. And that one's fallen incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. Second and ten. Ball on the 11. The Bulldogs bring in the nickel package. We're hot. We're hot. We're hot. Lorenzen. The throw. Incomplete pass. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. Third and ten, ball on the 11. The Wildcats line up in a goal line formation. Lorenzen gives it the middle. White with a takedown at the 15-yard line. Georgia calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. It's fourth down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 15. They come out in a punt formation. Gary signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 50-yard line. They'll get the ball here at midfield. Kentucky comes out defensively with six Hunt. defensive backs. Hunt. Hunt. Back to pass. Gives a little pump fake. He throws it. Johnson hangs on to it. 
That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 48. Smith alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Watson has it. Knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk, good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Kentucky comes out in a 4-3. He drops back. He's looking. He goes downtown. Gibson makes a catch. He can provide some excitement. He sure can. And the thing that makes this play successful is the fact that he's on the same page with his quarterback. Sometimes you see wide receivers that don't have their heads in the game, and they make stupid mistakes. You're right. Then they complain about not getting the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 13. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. They hand it off. And he's tackled at the 12-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. The Wildcats put four men up front, looking, throws it out there. Smith with a catch. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, but let me tell you the reason why this play worked. The defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And he made them pay right there. And it's caught. And they got him for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. Bennett lined up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. It's up. And it's good. Georgia to kick. He kicks it. They'll take over at the 20. Kentucky lines up in a goal line set. Bryant brings him down at the 27. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Georgia 31, Kentucky nothing. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Not a real deep kick, should be returned. Gibson fields it at the seven. And he did not have a good kick return on that one. No, some miscommunication there with his blockers. The coverage team just charged right in and took him down. They'll start this drive at the 16. Georgia lines up in the power eye set. Smith on the toss. And he stopped behind the line. And they stopped the halfback for a loss. And let me tell you something. That toss play had no chance whatsoever. Defense was all over it. Oh. 
So it's second and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. Smith lines up as a single back. Green, back to pass. Looks, he passes it, complete. They'll bring him down at the 17. The defense is all over that pass. Like glue. I'm telling you, this defense is tough. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on their own 17. Georgia comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He lobs it out to the left side. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Fourth and 13 coming up. Ball on the 13. Number 12. Back deep to return. Number 12 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 50. It's first and 10, ball on the 50. The Wildcats line up with three wide. Number 20, the ball carrier, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 48. The Bulldogs bring in the nickel package. Curry tackles him for a loss on the play. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call. Only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you. I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee. You can never tell. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on their own 44. Georgia comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He lets it go, and it's caught. Clemens with a takedown at the 45. Nice pass, but not enough for the first down, and I that's going to bring up I know, up I know, yeah, but nice pass and catch. But when you don't convert the first down, it's not as nice as you'd like. It's fourth down now, five yards to go. Ball on the 45. They send out the punting unit. Gary signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Smith alone in the backfield. He gives a pump fake. Let's it go. Complete. And they make the stop at the 37. How'd he get so open on that thing, Coach? The reason this play works so well, Brad, is because of that great play action fake right here. The defense comes up a little, stop the run, and then deep. The quarterback fakes it and hits the open man. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Georgia goes with the ace set here. Green drops back. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. The Bulldogs come out in a two tight end set. He unloads it. And it's caught. Number 27 brings him down at the 47. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time.
It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Kentucky comes out in a 3-4. Spin move. Johnson with a takedown at the 46. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. It's second down and nine to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Georgia lines up in a shotgun set. He steps up, going deep. And they couldn't hook up on that one. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. Third and nine. This is the sixth play of this drive. Smith lines up as a single back. Green steps back to pass. He throws it. Complete tackle at the 39-yard line. Seven yards there. Fourth and two, ball on the 39-yard line. Look for a run right up the gut. Smith gets a call, and he's stopped behind the line. What a big defensive stop. Boy, what a big play there. You're right, Brad. Let's hope this turnover on downs will ignite this offense. They'll get the ball here at the 46. Kentucky goes with the ace set here. And it's incomplete. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46. The Wildcats come out in the shotgun. Let's it fly. Incomplete pass. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. Third and ten. Ball on the 46. Lorenzen with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Fires a bullet over the middle. Thornton knocks it away. Well, the defense did tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Fourth down and ten. Ball on the 46. Gary awaiting the return. Gary calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 11. First and 10, ball on the 11-yard line. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. Wall takes a handoff. Lane brings him down at the 14-yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Second and seven. Ball on the 14. The Wildcats put four men up front. Number 18 with a takedown at the 27. And he pulls off a great run. Let me tell you something. This kid is a good running back. And I haven't seen moves like that since my high school prom, sweetheart. <laughs> Easy, coach. You don't want to scare off any of our viewers. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Georgia 31, Kentucky nothing. They've switched sides, and these teams are all set to start the fourth and final quarter. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27. 
The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation. He drops back. He pump fakes, throws it out there, and it's caught. Riley brings him down at the 39. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. Back to pass. He passes it. Complete. There's a missed tackle. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. He jumped up and snagged that ball. Well, the quarterback threw the ball too high. Credit his receiver for going up to make the play. It's second down and 12 to go. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Georgia sets up in the eye. Green drops back to pass. He's looking. He lets it go. Watson hangs on to it. They couldn't get much out of that one. I love how that defense just swarmed their ball the second it was thrown. It's third down and nine to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Bulldogs set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Let's it go. And that one's fallen incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Fourth down and nine. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Bulldogs are lining up to punt it away. Number 12, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 26. They'll take over at the 26. Georgia brings in the nickel here. Lorenzo drops the throw. He's looking for his man, and he drops it. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Kentucky goes with the ace set here. Rifles it over the middle. Bryant bats it down. Great defensive play by the cornerback. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Lorenzen comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Here comes the pressure. And down he goes at the 32. They kept it on the ground, but it wasn't enough. You know, that's why I like to throw the ball in this situation. You wait till your receiver is past the line, then you throw it to him. Fourth and four coming up on this play. Ball on the 32-yard line. Kentucky ready to put this one away. Gary calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 25-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 25. The Wildcats use a four-man front here. Green, back to throw. He unloads it. Incomplete. And that will stop the clock. Yeah, Brad, that doesn't make too much sense to me. You got the lead. Just run the football. Keep the clock running. Oh. 
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. Put hot. Put hot. Put hot. Back to pass. He fires left side. Intercepted. There's a stiff arm brought down at the 15-yard line. And that interception might be what they needed to get back in this ball game. Yeah, nice try, Brad. Keep their hopes up, but I don't think they have a chance of winning this. They're too far down to catch up. First and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. The Wildcats go with the eye formation. They hand it off. Gilbert with a takedown at the 13. And they pick up two yards. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Bulldogs bring in the nickel package. Lorenzen drops back. He throws it. And it's knocked down. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Drop back to pass. Steps up, looking. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, he was looking to the end zone on that one. I'll tell you what, the defense was not about to let him score there. It's fourth and eight. Ball on the 13-yard line. Kentucky in a five-wide set. Lorenzen, back to pass, lets it fly, boom, has it, and a nice catch by the wideout that time. High formation, looking to punch it in here. And plenty of options on this play, you guys. Touchdown, Wildcats. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreet. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Kentucky 7, Georgia 31. There's not enough time for them to make a defensive stop, so they'll try the onside kick. With the onside kick. And that should pretty much put the nail in the coffin, don't you think? Yeah, all they need to do now is run the ball and don't turn it over. They'll go to work at the 46-yard line. The Wildcats come out in a 34 defense. up the middle missed tackle spins up field and he's tackled at the 42 yard line time and time again you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage here they again get a nice push and the result was a solid run first and ten ball on the 42 yard line they line up in an eye Green gives it up the middle. Jake's off a tackle. And they make the stop at the 25-yard line. 
Nice gain for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front. The tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. That one's worth another look. It's first and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Kentucky lines up defensively in a 4-3. Green gives it up the middle. Schmidt with a recovery. They almost gave them a present right there. Yep, the running back gift wrapped it and everything. Lucky someone on his own team fell on it. Second down and 14. Ball on the 29-yard line. Georgia lines up in the power eye set. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. How about the play of this defense here? They got a great push up front, and they're able to wrap the fullback up for a nice stop. It's third down and 15 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Georgia sets up in the eye. Smith gets the carry. And down he goes at the 26. The Wildcats are going to take a timeout. And that was their first timeout. Fourth and 11 coming up. Ball on the 26. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. And it sails through the upright. And that was not an easy kick, guys. Forget about it. This kid can make it from 60 yards or further. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. Number 25 and number 12 back deep to return. Here's the kick. Number 25 has it at the five. Sheds that one. They'll get the ball here at the 36. Kentucky sets up with four receivers. Handoff up the middle. Tackle at the 39. Kentucky takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on their own 39. Georgia lines up defensively in a 3-4. Lorenzen gives it up the middle. White brings him down at the 49-yard line. They picked up good yardage on that one, Lee Corso. Oh, baby. Did the O-line create a lane for him to run through or what? First and ten, ball on the 49. Georgia brings in the nickel here. He guns it to the right, swatted away. The corner almost came up with a big turnover there. Well, the corner's able to bat this ball away, but he'd love another opportunity there to make the catch. They're not going to like to hear me say this, but that's one of the reasons why they're on defense and not playing offense. Second and ten, ball on the 49-yard line. Lorenzen has five receivers lined up here. And they hit him in the backfield. 
Well, he just couldn't get much of anything there. No, Brad, he couldn't. And I think the offensive line's going to have to hold their blocks longer than they did on that play. It's third down and 11 to go. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Five wide. He drops back. Looks. He wants it all going long. Thornton with a takedown at the 39-yard line. And that's the end of the ball game. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I think this is pretty much what people expected. Georgia was obviously a stronger team, and they didn't seem to let up just because they were playing a weaker opponent. I love their hard-working, take-care-of-business attitude. Folks, thanks for tuning into this game. Our final score, Georgia 34, Kentucky 7. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.